What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, let's see. Today's case really doesn't have anything that needs to be prefaced. Prefaced? Prefaced? I don't know. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Christy Gills, 24 years old, was working as a model in LA in 2021. She started her modeling career for Wilhelmina when she was only 15 years old. Before that, she had been a very talented soccer player. She loved to be out adventuring and traveling. She had gone skydiving, rode camels in Morocco, and donkeys around the Grand Canyon. Christy had married a South African-born artist, photographer, and special effects editor named Jan S Sillers. He was 17 years older than her, and the pair met through friends at an art gallery in LA. Jan wanted to pop the question just seven months after meeting at the Burning Man Arts Festival, but decided why wait and pop the question and the couple elope. Christy had started studying interior design, which was how she met her friend Hilda Cabrales Arzola, who was 26 years old and was an architect. Hilda was originally from Mexico, but had just moved to LA to start her dream job in interior design. She grad graduated summa cum laude from her university in Monterey, Mexico. Hilda had a dog that she adored named Thomas, but she had to leave him in Mexico with a friend, but she planned on moving him out to LA when she got her bearings and got like her life in LA put together. Hilda also loved to travel. She had been to 22 different countries and had even lived in South Korea, which I think is really cool. Christy and Hilda were out partying on November 12th. However, the following morning, a masked man left the girls at two different hospitals. He just dropped them off and left. The hospital staff said that a black Prius without any plates drove up to the ER entrance and then the two men told the staff that they found the women passed out on the curb somewhere nearby. They said that they were just trying to be good Samaritans by taking the women to the hospital. When they left, they wouldn't give their names or numbers. They literally just dropped them off and that was it. Which the hospital staff was super strange, like people don't just do that. Christy died the same day that she was left at the hospital. Her cause of death was caused by multiple drug intoxication, by multiple drug intoxications, according to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner. Hilda died on November 24th due to multiple organ failures and multiple drug intoxications as well. Hilda's toxicology report showed that she had cocaine, MDMA, or ecstasy, and elevated levels of fentanyl in her system, which was weird because Hilda was a very health conscious person. She was early to bed, early to rise, really tried to take care of her body, so something like this was very out of the ordinary for her, according to her parents. Christie's report showed that she had cocaine, fentanyl, and GHB, which is known as a date rape drug, in her system. On July 3rd, 2022, the Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gasco announced that two men had been arrested in December of 2021 in connection to the deaths of the two girls. David Brian Pierce, 40 years old, from Beverly Hills, was charged with two counts of murder and two counts of sale, uh, sale transport, furnish, a controlled substance. After David was arrested in December, he was then charged in a separate case with multiple counts of sexual assault against several victims within a 13-year period. They were trying to get some victims to come forward and testify against him, um, but that was just, that was kind of all that was mentioned about that case as far as like specifics. According to court records, he pled not guilty to those charges. Records indicated that David stayed in jail since he was arrested in December and was held on a $3.4 million bail. Jacob Glucksman, his attorney, told the LA Times that he fully intends on pleading not guilty at his arraignment since his client adamantly and strongly denies any connection to these women's unfortunate deaths. The second man arrested in connection to this case was Brent Walter Osborne, 42 years old. His charges are two counts of accessory after the fact in connection with Christie and Hilda's deaths. It's unclear if he's in custody yet because lawyer information wasn't immediately available for him. Brant was actually an actor who appeared in several low-budget productions according to the LA Times. A man named Michael Ansbach had been arrested in December as well but the release didn't really mention him, so I did some more digging, and turns out he was a photographer friend of the other two men's. They 
all knew each other and the night that the girls went out that was the first time that those girls had met these guys so that's kind of how he's um connected in this case the arraignments for david and brant were scheduled for july 11th after their arrest the district attorney's office had the case sent back to detectives to further the investigation brant and michael were released but david stayed in jail on the sexual assault charges so kind of what we gathered from that evening what happened was the two girls left the club with these guys they went back to one of their apartments and then they the girls were like texting each other like mm, let's maybe get out of here so they called an uber got in the uber and that was the last that then they had been seen um but jan had gotten an alert showing um christy's address and that it was like at the hospital's address because they shared their locations with each other which really isn't abnormal for um, couples to do he wasn't in los angeles at the time so just wanted to kind of keep an eye on her so when he noticed that he called the hospital found out that she was in the er and then he immediately flew to los angeles to be with her and was when she passed away thankfully but their case is just so incredibly sad honestly i really wish that we knew why the girls had gone with these men that they didn't even know as far as we're aware. David was a nightclub promoter and producer as well. So they were all kind of in the sh um, kind of entertainment industry, especially with the photographer, the actor, and this producer getting two girls. I don't want to assume anything, but I think when you look at their professions, it's kind of seems clear what maybe the guys were up to with these two poor women. However, unfortunately, this is all that we know as of right now. Um, nothing else has really come out about it, but super, super sad story. I'm just kind of reading another article, to but that is it for me today. Um, if there's updates on this case, I think I'll try to follow it. Um, but since this happened in 2021 and we're now in 2023 and nothing new has really come out, I, I'm kind of afraid that this is going to be it for the case. I hope not, but you never know. Um, let me know down below if you guys want me to cover this if there are any updates. Uh, as well as give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos similar to this one. But that is it for me today. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and I'll be back tomorrow with another True Crime Career video. Bye guys.